Okay, today we are playing a game on Junker Town. We are playing Roadhog the entire way through, and there is no SR for today's game because it's a quick play game on the PTR. So, Roadhog is also a real boy, and I also don't care what the team comp is. Woo! No video editing. Let's go. So, we're only going to be defending Junker Town. Our team is understandably terrible because it's quick play on the PTR. It's got two things going badly for it right there. This uh, was the same time we were... This is the same day, I believe, as the last time we were on the PTR, so there'll be no Ash again, sadly. Or perhaps good, depending on your perspective on Ash. So, as a, a risky shot into the Genji, seeing as we hadn't seen him deflect yet, so if he did deflect that one back into us, it would not have felt very good. It would have felt quite unpleasant, actually. So... Things look scary. Looked like we might die for a second, but we managed to survive. There's a fly in the room, and it's very annoying. <clears throat> so we got some Metra hopping around in front of us. Very inconvenient, because she's quite small, which makes her difficult to hit. But if you hook her, it's not so much of an issue. Can still be an issue if you hook a small person. Uh, very inconvenient. That looked weird. Did that wall look weird to anybody else? I don't know, something about that wall just looked weird to me. Um, did you change like, the particle effect? I don't know, it looks weird to me for some reason. I don't know why. Um, I guess I've never really looked at May's wall that closely before, though, either. So they've got a, a uh, Reaper, as we've just learned right now, which is extremely inconvenient to us as Roadhog. Because, well, it's hard to kill Reaper as Roadhog. Easier now, certainly, with the... Oh, I don't know about that one. Well, we did get him, so... He, he very conveniently splattered against the wall right next to us, which was very helpful. Um, it, it's just that... Basically, the, the we use this on Reaper, who's currently using Wraith form anyway. So, there's no guarantee this went as well as it did anyway, right here, because we're almost dead. If he just got, got on the other side of us and got, like, a shot into us, we would have died. So, that would have felt bad. And then it's just like, what else are we going to do with it beyond that? It did kill the Reaper, certainly, but I mean, I'm not super excited to use Whole Hog just to kill, like, one guy. Especially when the chances of killing him aren't all that high, all things considered. Because um, as well, if he had just, like, come out of Wraith form next to us, he would have just gotten pushed away from us, like, off the ledge instead, so... There's a lot of ways he could have stood in a better position that wouldn't have made him just splatter against the wall, so. And, like, the thing with Whole Hog to me is that it's just really good team fight utility, because you basically just get to go, I don't like this fight. I'd rather not have this fight. I'm gonna call the whole thing off, and then we can meet again, perhaps tomorrow around noon, and then we'll try having that team fight again when I'm a, a little bit more excited for it. So she just teleported. Yeah, that's the entrance, so she's somewhere behind us right now. Uh, do we try to hook through it to hook her back out again? Or hook the, uh, teleporter closer to us? Don't work like that, unfortunately. Um. So, I, I would have, um, been more interested in finding where she came out. Because, if I see her teleport through like that, I assume she's gonna have teleported, like, up onto the high ground behind us. Where... She could be harassing, like, Widowmaker or Anna. I don't want her to do that, so I would have been more concerned with, like, turning around to see what the Symmetra was up to on the other side of the teleporter. She also might have just immediately come back through the teleporter again, but... Eh. You can turn around and kind of at least see what she's up to, rather than just, like, she's gonna come back through, she's gonna come back through. Um, anyway, so... Whole team dead right now. We're too far up. Whole team dead right now, and we're just getting shot and killed. Because we were too far up while our team was regrouping. So they just collapse on us, and what were we to do? Well, we could have killed all of them, I suppose, but perhaps not the most consistent strategy. Because that's, that's always the play you've got in your back pocket, right? You could always just pick Widowmaker and kill all six members of the enemy team, and then you get to win. So... There's always that play, but it's not necessarily the most consistent play in the entire universe. This is perhaps the worst minefield I've ever seen in my entire life. Because tell me exactly who is going to be inconvenienced by this one. Not much of anybody, is it? 
Because what are they going to do? Like, oh, through this door, oh, shit, oh, just go around the edge, you know? They're like, oh, fuck, better not go near that one. Oh, fuck, look, let's go around that one. It's uh, not exactly, as well as being like a billion miles away from where any fighting is actually going to happen in the near future. So that's uh, not the greatest use of company resources. One individual plasma mine probably costs a lot of fucking money to make, and then Hammond's out here wasting like 50 of them per, per alt. So we're too far up again, because if we end up in a bad spot, fuck did we have to run a long way to get back to safety. Too long, in fact, as it turned out, because we died. We also missed the hook, which is also unfortunate, but I don't support the play in general, just because if it goes badly... There's not a lot you can do about it, as evidenced by the fact something went badly and there wasn't a lot we could do about it. I have excellent deductive reasoning skills, I don't know if you've noticed. So we do almost have our ult ready to go, the Rudy Tootie whiz bang shooting. So we can call off a team fight if we're not particularly excited about it. Uh, what would we use whole hog, or uh, take a breather for rather, um, to heal 70, 64-ish hit points. So. As uh, not the greatest use of company resources either, because that could heal 300 hit points, which is significantly more. Um, by my mark, at least triple, slightly more, I believe. So we did manage to fucking kill Symmetra, which feels good. We now have a Roadhog, or <clears throat> we've always had a Roadhog, we now have a Reinhardt, which is a significant improvement team composition-wise. So that didn't go super well, because he got above us, correct? Yep, he's a little bit above us. Because we like hooked him all, we were like hooked him halfway up the ledge, then went further down. So he got yanked up as we went down. We shot his toe real good, to be fair, but no, we didn't shoot him particularly well right there. Ledges can be inconvenient, or inclines can be inconvenient. Trust me, I played Reinhardt. I know how bad in I know how inclines can be when they interact with your abilities. Oh. Just don't ult on a staircase, my dude, because you know what the game sometimes goes? That bottom step? That's a wall. Better not do that, because it can't go over a wall. So just stop right there. I think an earthquake can travel up a staircase, to be perfectly honest with you. I feel like an earthquake can also traverse a wall a little bit, but you know, that would be a little too much game-wise, I understand, but, you know... When your game looks at the bottom step and goes, can't do it, chief. That's too much. Right? It's, it's very upsetting. Oh, God, Reinhardt was so bad. Oh, Jesus Christ. Remember when you just couldn't ult near a corner? Because it just the corner was, like, guaranteed going to eat the whole earth shatter. Now it, like, kind of goes around a corner, which is absolutely incredible. Because the ultimate just kind of working correctly is better than what we had before. Turns out, startling development, I know, if you don't fix any of the bugs that a hero has, they over time will collect more bugs. And it turns out that if you don't do something about that, eventually they just become a fucking nightmare. I know, isn't that startling? Isn't that one startling enough? This is the problem I feel like Bethesda must have constantly, where um, they just don't really employ a QA de department until probably like halfway through the project, but by that point it's too much work to fix all the bugs they have, right? And I think the Fallout 76 beta clearly showed us that when there was a bug that was deleting the game, right? So you pre-download it, go to, go to play it on the day, fuck, it deleted it, great. And you know what happened recently? Now, exact opposite end of that, there's a bug in the Bethesda client right now that won't let you uninstall the Fallout 76 beta. So isn't that incredible to think about? There was a bug that was deleting the beta, which is in, an, an unbelievable bug just to begin with, that it was like deleting the whole game and you had to download it again. But now there's a bug that won't let you delete the beta. Isn't that astonishing to think about? This is what happens when you don't hold a company to acceptable QA standards for about three decades. Look what happens. Look what point we've reached. Ah, oh, how depressing. And that's with Blizzard doing whatever the fuck they're doing over there with Diablo right now on top of everything else right now. And Stan Lee died today. What an awful week it's been. 
It's been absolutely terrible. Non-stop awful things are happening. Uh, that's just life, though, at the same time, isn't it? Anyway, so what is happening? We're playing uh, Overwatch, I believe. I, I, I legitimately almost said we're playing League of Legends, so I think I might be having a stroke. It's okay, we'll f muscle through it anyway. So we've decided to use Whole Hog. Um... I assume just because we don't really like the way that this is looking, which is an except because it's not like we're using this to kill anybody, really. Um, not really feeling it, Mr. Krabs, is an acceptable reason to use Whole Hog. And then we do end up getting to um, bully around. Re the ice particle effects look different. But I'm not sure if I'm just losing my mind. Um... We did manage to end up bullying Reaper into a corner with it. Unfortunately, he was nano boosted, so it ended up not really uh, working out too much. I don't know if I would have. Oh, she was probably using that to get out. Because I was like, I wouldn't have teleported into here, Symmetra. She might have been trying to use it to get out rather than get in, to be fair. Um. So they almost got it to the end, but they didn't quite get it to the end because the snow globe is really good at killing an attacking team's momentum on payload maps. In general, really, but particularly on payload maps. And look at that ice cube go. Mmm. That's how fans are made, by the way. Right there. So. What was the plan? What, what do you think her plan was, exactly? What do you think that Anna was scheming? when she came up this far. So he's probably gonna, yeah, that's exactly what I was gonna say. Uh, Bridget was more ready for it than we were. Cause I was gonna say, we should be ready to hook right now. Cause this boy looks like he's about to death blossom to me. Cause that's usually what they do when they wraith form into your team. We didn't do that, but Bridget fucking stopped and called in his tracks instead. Get it? Cause May's right there and she's a cold based hero. Mm -hmm. uh -huh, that's cold humor right there. Um, sort of, I guess. Uh, hook didn't quite work out. This slant is giving us problems today, isn't it? That's the second time somebody on that slant's gotten away with their lives. Uh, Symmetra's also a lot smaller than Reaper, though, so that was also gonna be an issue. It's like, if you hook Baby Diva, I've seen plenty of Roadhogs hook Baby Diva and not kill Baby Diva, because she's just very small. That was probably a lot harder to do after they changed the, um, bullet spread, though. It's probably a lot easier to kill those heroes now. As well as just being generally easier to kill people. Um, broadly across the board. So, you know, there's been aim better happening in the background. There's a lot of, like, aim better that goes into playing Roadhog, really. Did actually manage to bait out his, uh, deflect with the melee attack, which was pretty sick, because he did... He did just, like... It was a pretty delayed reaction as well. He just, like, saw something happen, and then, like, a second later went, Oh, shit! Even though, by the time he did that, I think he would have gotten hooked. Whatever. Um... Ninjas aren't known for their good reactions. Much less cyborg ones. It's fine. Um, like I can talk. Uh, I was making a point. I don't remember what it is. That'll be the stroke that happened right there. Oh, couldn't have been that important, could it? I remember. There's, uh, you know, a lot of, like, aim better stuff that happens in general with Roadhog. And... You know, he's a, he's one of the more don't like that. <laughs> don't don't like that one. Like fuck Widowmaker, I suppose. <laughs> um Don't like that. Don't do that. That was a tragic use of company resources. Um Could have just like walked up behind her and shot her. Uh yeah, no, don't, don't do that one. So the other, um, the other... There's aim better, because Marowithog's a mechanic, one of the more mechanically difficult tanks to play. Um, obviously it doesn't begin to compare to Hammond, but, you know, compared to a lot of the tanks we got, Roadhog's more mechanically demanding. So there's a lot of aim better, and the, be the rest of it is basically just resource management, because all of Roadhog's abilities are very strong. Take a Breather is a very strong survival ability. The Hook is a very strong utility slash murder ability. And Whole Hog, Rudy Tootie Was Bang Shooting, is a very strong utility ultimate in its ability to call off fights. It can be comboed with like Graviton and um, Nano Boost. And you can just 
pin people in a corner and fucking murder them if everything lines up, or push them off an edge. All of Roadhog's abilities are actually very, very strong, so he's... He might... Well, I don't know about this. He's got one of the better, like, ability sets out of all of the heroes. Like, all of them individually are very strong. It's just unfortunate that, like, Roadhog himself has not exactly been very exciting lately. But hey, his gun's a real gun again. How about that? Isn't that exciting? Because that was the problem. Like, as soon as they started, like, nerfing the gun, it all started falling apart. It all started falling apart for him. Almost like his gun might somehow be based entirely around the fact that it's ramshackle and made out of scrap. How appropriate that it all started to fall apart once things got, once uh, changes got made to it. Look at that. A uh, nice bit of Ludo narrative synchronicity, which will be appreciated for anybody who knows what the fuck I'm talking about. Because I don't, I don't anymore. It's been a bad day, hasn't it? It's been a really bad day today. I put it down to the fact it's PTR quick play, so it's got like two stacking effects on it right now. Failed to hook the Genji right there. If Genji pulls out the Dragon Blade, he is likely to dash in the near future. It's going to be easier to hook Genji if you wait until after he dashes, because then he doesn't have his dash to do any funky movement with right at the end of it, uh, rather than trying to hook him like when he's getting ready to dash, because then he can easily end up dodging it. So here comes Dragon Strike. There goes Dragon Strike. Goodbye, Dragon Strike. Here comes uh, Widowmaker. I thought this was Hanzo, but that was just because I saw the dragon a second ago. So I was like, hmm, that's Hanzo over there. No, nope, it was Widow. Didn't manage to kill Widow. Feels bad, man. Uh, she was getting pocketed, so it was going to be harder. Widowmaker's behind us right now. She's landed up behind us. She's uh, jumped down. We should have been more concerned with that because Widowmaker was pretty out of position. By that point, there's no point. What a terrible, what a terrible sentence that was. By this point, there's no reason to hook her anymore because she's gonna fucking die. She, she's fucking dead from that position. Uh, then that meant we didn't have the hook to try and uh, kill Genji right there. But hey, now we have the hook to try and kill Reaper. Oh no, he's got Mercy tethered to him. That makes him difficult to kill. He's dead now. Uh, Mercy's doing, you know, that. An optimistic hook, to say the least. So we've um, ulted just to do this to Winston. I don't. I don't like that. I'm not. Don't like that at all. Cause what's he gonna do? What what threat does Winston pose to us, Roadhog, May, and Bridget, who is in the near vicinity as well? Uh, very little. If we managed to pin him in that corner, he would have died. But. I feel like we would have had better odds trying to kill him if we just shot him and then tried to hook him as he jumped away. Or he might not have tried to jump, jump away, in which case we could just shoot him, hook him, shoot him again. I'm not very excited about using the whole hog just to try and kill Winston, because in the best case scenario, we just killed Winston, while the rest of his team wasn't really in a position to do anything anyway. So, don't like that. Poor use of company resources. Uh, the company resources in uh, Roadhog's case, much less damaging to the company to waste his resources than Hammond, because Hammond's wasting whole fucking minefields worth of resources, right? What's uh, whole hog, What's uh, Roadhog wasting when he uses his ultimate? Like a couple handfuls of scrap. That's okay. You know, we can go out the dumpster and replace that one easily enough. Send an intern around to the, to the scrap heap, so, you know, all of Junker Town, with a bucket, and we're good to go again. So, Reaper was uh, badly out of position, so he ended up dying in the end. That's, that's, uh, that's typically what happens when you're out of position. Ooh, just be chill, just be chill. Ooh, oh my goodness, you gotta chill. Because we could have just, she's going on like a real predictable path right now. Could have just taken an extra like half second to line this shot up. But then we get like really like flustered and fidgety over continuing to miss. And then it has this compounding effect where we keep missing. It, um, this is why you want your sensitivity really low in general. Is it's uh, slow and deliberate movements end up being a lot better when you're trying to kill somebody. Not that I'd know from personal experience. So... Um, what's going on right now? Oh, there goes Reaper again. He's probably got his ult. Yeah, okay. I was like, no, nah, he did actually end up holding it. So I was like, yeah, maybe not. No, he did actually have his ult. 
Snow globe deployed. A lot of people dead now. McCree up here. We missed McCree. Aim better. Uh, here comes Gongo. Gongo's dead now. Ran into Bridget. Oh, she's she's just machine gunning that up there. She's gonna she's gonna hit somebody eventually. Good good heavens! I tell you what, she's gonna shoot someone. When she killed them, uh, uh, she's gonna hit them though, eventually. So who got play of the game? It's probably Reaper. Yeah, yeah. I don't know why. This is my gut feeling was it's probably Reaper. I see, he's just farmed a lot of damage off, like, us right there. Yeah. Uh, and then he farms a lot of damage off him, too. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. He managed to kill him. How about that? How about that? Good job, good job. Um, Reaper was trying really hard. He overextended a lot, but he was trying really hard. Good job, Snorkel Tubs. So, things to stand out the most. Basically, bad resource management. We use, uh... We ended up like using take a breather to heal like 70 damage, which is not a great use of company resources stuff like that uh, I was never particularly excited with a lot of the ways we used whole hog um, The hook can like very easily ends up being poor resource management just by not aiming well So, you know that one kind of like ties into aim better. I just noticed there are lights on the bottom of my keyboard as well hmm, How about that? Um, yeah resource management Aim better. Mostly the ultimate. I was never particularly excited with how we used our ultimate. That was the big one. Um, and then, like, not healing, uh, using take a breather in not great positions. Also, like, overextending. That happened a few times as well. Um, yeah, that's, that's what stood out the most. Aim better. But you can always aim better. That's the one consistency in life. You can always aim better. So thank you very much for watching if you did. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. I'm more than happy to answer. If you haven't already, you can join our Discord and ask more and ask questions more directly and have a conversation about them. Or just shit post with us. And I hope you found the video helpful. Probably not, but it might have been funny. <laughs>